Do y'all hear that? I'm trying to work and every single week. Today is going to be a great day. I'm currently working on my lunch break right now. What I'm planning to do is tomorrow at work, we have a global rest day. Tomorrow is Friday. So I plan to leave Atlanta, go to Charlotte, go to Columbia, South Carolina for a little while, um, visit some old coworkers, visit the campus, you know, visit my sister, probably head down to my hometown as well, visit my moms and them. This man is literally on top of the apartment. That's dangerous. I don't know if y'all can see this. Let's see. Let's see if y'all can see this. But he is up there. Right? Oh there. no! While I'm on my lunch break, um, I forgot that I didn't pack last night. Because one thing, I forgot that it was going to be Thursday today last night. Like the week has been going by so quickly that I forgot that it was going to be Thursday today. And I did not pack, so I actually have to pack real quick. So while I'm on my lunch break, I'm gonna pack. That way, as soon as I get off, I can get on the road and be good to go. I actually did not make my bed fully um, this morning. So, it's halfway made, that counts, right? So, this is a little carry-on. And this is my main luggage. It's like a medium size. It's not like overly big. So I'll probably use this one. But the good thing about this luggage is this guy. Portable charger. But since I'm gonna be driving, I don't need it. The last time I used this luggage was when we were supposed to be going to All-Star Weekend in Chicago. And y'all know how that went. So yeah, end up staying in Atlanta. When I go to Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Um, dang, I need to check the temperatures to see what it's gonna be in South Carolina and North Carolina. Cause I don't wanna pack clothes can't really wear. I like to make sure that whatever I pack is efficient. It's for the weather, multiple occasions, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see. This is again not sponsored, but away if y'all see this, go ahead and hit me up. I love away. They also have this built-in like laundry bag thing here. So you could put all your dirty clothes in a little bag. Currently wrapping up some work. It's about time for me to get off. Finish packing and then we gonna hop on the road. Hopefully the gas prices ain't too high. Well, I ain't even gonna say that because I know the gas prices are high, but I'm not on E. I just need to fill up, get on out of here. I'm done, out of there, gone. I'm out of there, I'm gone. I'm actually gonna take my big camera with me. When I go somewhere, I'm like, I wish I had my big camera instead of my small camera. So I'm gonna bring this with me. Never know when you gotta get some work in. So I'm bring the big camera with me this time. I'm gonna bring this hard drive and this SSD for my iPad. So just in case I'm shooting footage and my memory card fills up, I can extract that footage to one of these. I'll make sure your memory card is in here because if you don't, you'll be highly upset if your memory card is not in there. And then format this card. Always make sure I format. But the thing about Canon cameras is I love the menu system. I love it. I'm shooting on a Sony ZV-1 and I know they have a Canon G7X Mark III, but like I love Canon menus and things like that so much. I don't know if I should trade in the ZV-1 for it though. If y'all have a Canon G7X Mark III, let me know. I might do some research on YouTube about it. I have, this, I have the ZV, that's what I'm shooting on, the ZV-1 right now. I always take my work phone just in case. It's a good luxury to have. Nine times out of 10, I don't need all this equipment, but 
You just never know. Traffic is horrible. That's one of the bad things about leaving directly after work. Especially in Atlanta, the traffic, man. The traffic will get you. I'm about to stop and get some gas. And we gonna be on the road. Gas is four dollars and I think 50 cents. It's crazy. Hold on, no, no, no. It's say five dollars. Five dollars and thirty-nine cents for some. What? Oh, they tripping. Oh, they tripping. I used to work in right here and this is the horseshoe he ain't doing no work he acting like he doing some work what's up man <laughs> you can get purple on you man what you mean? Where I'm on the phone with some people. You ain't talking about that. Cause they asked about scholarships, we ain't relief from yet. Where everybody at? Uh, travel. Oh dang. It's right now. It's just me, uh, Richard, and uh, Miranda. She's new. Oh, you traveling too? Yeah, might as well Canada. Oh yeah, that is right. What part of Canada? Uh, Brampton. It's like 20 minutes outside Toronto. Oh man. You gonna say hi to Drake and all of them? What's been good with you? This one. Somebody show me where my old office was. Ain't nobody up there. Oh yeah, somebody. My office was right here. I think somebody is in there. Yeah, Dylan, I forgot. It's a real tea, loose tea. See, and then you put it in here, let the water boil. This man done got him a oh man. Ha -ha. Hey, okay. Dip it in, dip it out. What kind of candy this man got? He always got the candy for us, you know what I'm saying? So hey, if y'all ever come to the University of South Carolina, <laughs> come to the admissions office to get some candy from. I should see what my man does. You got some chocolate. I'm gonna tell you some chocolate. That's uh like the rice krispie, like the oh, crunchy one. Rice crispy, yeah. This is cookies and cream. I'm gonna take that too. Yeah, and yeah. then the one where it's nothing on the heart, it's just yeah. milk chocolate. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take that too. So Peter Paul. Yes, sir. What is your best memory that both of us had together? <laughs> if these walls could talk, <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> best or funniest? It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, is this going along? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Me, you, Katie, and Bree, we went to that pop thing. What's it called? What pop thing? Like the, it was a conference here. Pop Circle or something like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and there's a search somebody. Ashy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and apparently Bree was like, well, apparently she hurt her ankles. And he was like, both of them? <laughs> <laughs> And we just start looking at each other, and we would laugh, like even in meetings. Yeah, that's why I, I could see. I would be knocked in meetings, I would always be knocked out of sleep. And then anytime says somebody says something, you'd be like, <laughs> and we're like, bro, we in a room this big. We know what they said was petty, Corey. I was wondering why campus is so dead. It's spring break. I'm out here with a book bag like I'm a student, and it's spring break. Ain't nobody out here. Look at this. Nobody out here. But yeah, that used to be my office, guys. Great people up in there. Glad to see some of my old folks. I think I'm about to stop and see my old advisor. That used to be the chapter advisor for 
my fraternity. So I'm gonna see if he's in his office because he actually works in, I think, IT here on campus. So I'm gonna see if he's in his office. <laughs> Should get steady here in a second. How are you? Good, man. Good. Yeah, you gonna be around for a second? Yeah, yeah. Okay, give me about 10. Alright, my guy. This right here is Green Street, the yard where we used to stroll, all kind of stuff. Farmers market, all that good stuff was out here on Green Street. I'm thinking about the old days. It looks so different in here. All oh, this wasn't here. Another space I used to be in right here. Chillaxing, studying, writing papers. Still kind of look the same in here. Used to have chapter meetings and meetings in here. Wow. They got a screen in the wall now. I found this cool magazine, Garnet in Black. I actually was in one. If I could find it, I'm going to put it in the video. But I used to be, I had a feature in Garnet in Black. Maybe I could find it and show y'all I was really like that. Now nah, let me stop. But campus is dead. I'm dead. Boom, there I go. Hey, young me. One thing I'll say, man, you know, respect, man. Respect is real. Like, when you respect others, people will respect you. And respect can take you a long way. When I was talking to my old manager just now, um, one thing she said to me, she was like, yeah, when you was here, you did great work. and." You know so proud of you and as much as we would love to have you here the world needs you and that kind of stuck with me she's like the world needs you and I feel like to me to, it's just a level of respect man um, no matter how far you came no matter what you do uh, you always have to have respect at the forefront because if you're not respected or if you don't respect others your brand will be tainted who you are will be tainted you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it just goes a long way. But I just want to say that because we live in a world where people don't get praised as often. People don't, you know, give people their flowers as often, you know. But when you are respected, it goes such a long way. It goes such a long way. But that's all I wanted to say. I'm going I'm to end it right there. <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm go ahead and end it right there. But it's raining, and I don't want my camera out here getting wet. It's getting wet right now, so I don't want to damage it. But, yeah. I told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Because when it pop off, it's like, oh, my. All good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side